he was my homeschool academy welcome to class it's good to have you here in this lesson we are actually entering a new unit we just entered economics and economics is the study of how society uses its natural resources so although we're in week 30 today we're going to be talking about natural resources and trying to find out what are natural resources where do they come from how do we use them i'll give you um, all that information right after we open up the word of prayer we thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. That's our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So natural resources in our environment, let's talk about it. A natural resource is anything that comes from the earth, okay, that people can use for their own benefit. People cannot make natural resources because they're from the earth they're basically nature made or you say made by god um anything that you can use for your own benefit some examples of natural resources are things like air sun water plants soil the wind trees are you getting it anything that's natural and nature made is a natural resource now how can we use some of those things to our own benefit Here's an example. What about sun for life? Sun gives us gives us is a source of life for us. The heat allows everything to the heat and um, light from the sun gives life to everything. What about water for drinking? Water is another source of life, if you will. By drinking water, we're able to quench our thirst and use water for a lot of other things as well. But without that water, we wouldn't be able to live, would we? What about plants for food? Yes, we need to eat. So we go to the plant. And oftentimes we also go to the animals, but guess what? The animals are also relying on the plants, aren't they? So we all have to refer ultimately back to the plant. The point is this, without some of these, without these natural resources, we wouldn't be able to live and we would not have any sustenance at all. So give thanks to God today for natural resources. Yay, God, for the sun and for water and for the oceans and the rivers and the air we breathe, you know, and the water we drink. Make sure to give thanks to God for that today. I have a few questions for you to make sure you've been paying attention in today's lesson. Question one, what is a natural resource? Question true, two, true or false, people can make natural resources. Question three, list some examples of natural resources. Okay, I'll give you some time to complete that exercise. Thank you so much for coming to class and being a part of today's lesson. But until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be.